everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi here on YouTube. I do alternate day fasting along with the ketogenic diet. And today I am taste testing two new Built Bar flavors. You're not gonna wanna miss this, so stay tuned. So as you know, I am totally addicted to Built Bars. I've done several videos on flavor testing, also on a blood glucose testing. Um, you could click up here and that will take you to one of the videos that I have. Um, I should start doing a playlist of Built Bar flavors because I swear I'm like ordering a new flavor every other week. Um, every time that they send out an email telling me that there's a new flavor, I pretty much buy it. Um, I have, I think I have like five boxes of Built Bars in my pantry right now. Last weekend was horrible. My air conditioner broke and it was right in the middle of a heat wave and I just got the grasshopper cookie flavor. I was thinking, oh my gosh, they're going to melt. I don't wanna spend $40 on a box that's going to be like melted and I can't even enjoy it. So um, it was in the pantry for a couple of hours before I realized like how warm it was getting in the house before I put it in the refrigerator. So I don't know if these bars are going to look as pretty they may have melted. So the two flavors that I have today are grasshopper cookie, which is, I assume is like a thin mint kind of cookie. Um, I love mint chocolate chips, anything. So I already have the mint chocolate flavor, but um, I wanted to try the grasshopper cookie. Actually, before I even got the grasshopper cookie, I got the uh, banana bread one. So this is the banana bread. And I don't know why the camera is making it look like it's a green box. It's not, it's yellow. What is going on with the color? Really quickly, I'm not gonna go over the nutrition information or ingredients in these bars. What I do tell you is the net carbs, the total carbs, and if you wanna know what sweeteners are being used. Other than that, I'm not gonna go over the ingredients. If you're curious about the ingredients, you can either look on their website or you can watch one of my other review videos where I do tell you all the information in the bars. So we're gonna start with banana bread because I got this box first. Um, and I'm just gonna to look to see what the sweetener is in this. So they're just using erythritol. Um, there are dried bananas in it and natural flavor. 20 grams of total carbs, there's six grams of dietary fiber, and there's eight grams of sugar alcohol. This is six grams of net carbs, and real quickly, that'll tell you some of the other macros if you're looking. Um, 18 grams of protein. It is a bright yellow wrapper. Oh, the chocolate did stick, I can tell. It's stuck to the wrapper from when it melted last week. I don't know why the camera's making it look like it's a lime green. It's not, it's a bright gold color. Um, so we're gonna start with banana walnut. I'm sorry guys, it did totally stick to the wrapper. It melted and then reformed in the fridge. So some of the coating has come off of the bar. No fault to Built Bars at all. Um, in fact, when they ship it to you, they ship it with a insulated envelope. The box right here is inserted in this little envelope and then it's shipped in a regular shipping box. It's not pretty guys, it's just, I swear they normally don't look this horrific, but you know, thank you heat wave, Fresno heat wave. So um, I'm gonna cut it in half so you can see the inside, because I love the inside of these bars. It does remind me of some kind of C's candy, nougat -y kind of candy. That's why I'm addicted to them. Not only do they taste good, but the texture is amazing. So this is what the inside looks like. Be dropping chocolate on the floor. Okay, so here we go. Yum. I don't know if any of you have tried making banana bread and putting chocolate chips in it. That's my favorite way to make it and it is so good. This is right up that alley. If you like chocolate chips, like if you like a banana nut muffin and they put chocolate chips in it, it's gonna taste exactly like that. If you've made your own banana nut bread and put chocolate chips in it, it's gonna taste exactly like that. So this one does say real chocolate, so I'm assuming it's a dark chocolate, but it doesn't have a bitter taste. Let me just look really quick. Yeah, it says dark chocolate. So it doesn't have a bitter taste like some of the other dark chocolates um, and even some of the other bars I've tried. Some dark chocolates tend to have a little bit of a bitter taste. I know the Hecka Good Foods bars, their dark chocolate sea salt bar, that one does have a very bitter taste from the dark chocolate. 
Also the heck of good cookies, the ones that have like chunks in it, dark chocolate chunks. I think there's a peanut butter chocolate chunk cookie. That one also does taste bitter from the dark chocolate. You don't get any bitterness at all from this. I really enjoy this flavor. I'm gonna give it a four. I like it, I, I totally dig it. I'm not mad about that purchase at all. I can afford to eat another bite. I'm coming off a 36 hour fast. Moving on to the grasshopper cookie bar. Um, so this one is five grams of net carbs and there's the macros there really quick if you want to see them. So this is 19 grams of total carbohydrates, six grams of dietary fiber, and eight grams of sugar alcohols. This one does have dark chocolate. There's grasshopper cookie pieces inside of it. Um, there is sugar. It says sugar, erythritol. There's sugar mentioned twice in this one. Sugar is mixed in with the dark chocolate coating. And then there's again sugar when they're talking about um, the grasshopper cookie pieces. Uh, let me see here in the banana walnut one. I didn't really see if there was sugar. So here there is um, sugar mentioned only once and that's in the dark chocolate coating. So I'm actually surprised that this is lower in net carbs if it has sugar mentioned twice, but whatever. These are also going to be melted. Um, I'm sure they're not gonna look pretty again because stupid heat wave. But um, yeah, I could tell the way it's shaped already in this wrapper. So this is the grasshopper one. The chocolate melted, so it looks just like the banana walnut one. It's just like the coating has come off on the sides there. It's not as smooth and glossy as it normally looks. It's, it's like a cream colored on the inside. I kind of expect like maybe it would be green or minty looking and it's not. I don't wanna get chocolate on the floor, so I'm gonna lean over here. Hmm, so this is quite surprising. I feel neutral about it. I don't love it, I don't hate it. It doesn't have very strong um, mint flavor to me. I don't get any little grasshopper pieces. I just get a hint of mint. I'm gonna have to rate this one a three. It's average. Um, I prefer the mint brownie one over this one. I definitely won't be buying this grasshopper one again. I like the banana walnut one better than this one, which is weird because I would always pick mint chocolate over anything, but in this case, I would pick the banana walnut one over this one. So there's my taste test on the banana walnut and grasshopper built bars. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this quick video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And when you do, don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that'll notify you every time that I've uploaded a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.